one of the biggest impact that impact has had on my classroom is the chance to rethink a course from the ground up. A chance to think and focus in not just on the content, but on the students and how they uh, deal with that content. Because so often we're so focused in on teaching them things, teaching them concepts, which of course is an important aspect of that, we miss the student in all of it and how the student reacts to that. So a chance to think from the ground up, what does the student need, how does the student act, interact with the content, and focusing much more on the student's side of things rather than the content per se. Being part of IMPACT has been a really great opportunity here at Purdue. Um, I've always wanted to try out a different way of managing a large enrollment lecture course, uh, but wouldn't dare to do that without the endorsement of the entire institution. Uh, so IMPACT made it possible for me to actually uh, take some risks and try out new ways of um, sharing information and bringing our first year students into biology as a discipline and as a research endeavor. I think that IMPACT has allowed me to be able to reach more students in a better way than I had before. I think the work we do on bringing them uh, a review of course material before class and the opportunities they have in working together during class has made the experience better for them. And I think in the, in the end, uh, they're, they're going to learn a lot more from the course. So group interaction is really at the heart of what we're trying to do in this revised classroom. In large lecture, the students sit there and they're always focused on the instructor. And we know in real life, employers ask us, they want students who can interact as a group, that can do presentations, that find ways to be better together in collaboration. And so one of the things we do is we give them lots of group time to sit and talk in groups to help each other out. Because very often the question that you have can be answered by the person sitting next to you, if only you would talk to them. <laughs> and so we spend a lot of time at the beginning of class, all the students take their own name tags, they know who they are, and we build in lots of these projects where they get a chance to share, you know, icebreaker kinds of things. So that by the end of the semester they have a, a cohort, that they're a learning community really, that they feel comfortable with and expressing their concerns, their thoughts, their questions. And building up that rapport is another thing that's very important in this sort of resign thing. And again, it comes from student focus. Students need to have, feel like they're supported. And sometimes that's from the instructor, but sometimes it's from their fellow students too. From the perspective of the students, what's radically different is that uh, my students in the impact class all have a team that they work with. They know each other. They've made friends with students, other students who are biology majors. The Psych 120 experience has been completely transformed by the IMPACT process. We went from something that was basically three large lecture courses of maybe 500 students watching one dancing monkey on the stage to a situation under which the students are sitting in maybe 40 to 60 person recitations having processed that information ahead of time and are able to ask questions to interact with the instructors in a way that you never could in a large lecture course and interact with the material that they never did in the, in the large lecture course. We're able to to be honest, be more efficient with our use of time in class. I think we are able to cover the same amount of stuff as we did before. We don't get behind, but I think there's a little bit more depth that they're seeing, not only from a little bit more time for me to talk to them, but I think they really gained from that 15 to 20 minutes at the end of talking among th themselves. What I ask them to do before class, usually the night before, to view an eight to 10 minute video that I put together where I will go over what I feel are the, the four or five most important points that we'll go over in class. One of the first things we notice is that when you do a lecture, uh, about 10 minutes in, about half of the students are starting to fall asleep. They're starting to lose uh, uh, focus. And if that lecture's online, they can watch it, they can come back to it and realize, ah, this is what I'm, this is what I'm missing, this is what I need. Then when they come to class, I usually ask if they have any questions and we have some discussion. I follow that up oftentimes with a quiz and a, the quiz is there mainly to find out whether they've watched the video or not, uh, which they have actually. So they do well on that. We work some examples, usually two, 
in the level to which I'm used to teaching in this course. And then the last 15 to 20 minutes are set aside for them to be working on a problem uh, that uh, we have put together for them to work on as a group. And my job and the TA's job during that 20 minutes is to go around the room to sort of keep them on track, help them out if they have any questions. As soon as you start focusing on the student, you recognize that uh, their questions are not the questions that you're necessarily asking. And, and when you give the students all this material ahead of time, they can think about it, they have a chance to process it, they come in asking the questions that they really need the answers to. And like I said, they're not the ones that we would have anticipated if you don't start focusing on the student. I think the impact has been good in that our discussions are actually a lot better this semester than they have been for many semesters. And that's because they already know a little bit about what's going to go on before they come to class. I've been teaching this course off and on for 31 years, and it's not that I'm learning new stuff technically every semester, but I always learn something new in terms of how to do it. This semester has been particularly valuable for me in that although I've developed organizational skills throughout those years, this year has sort of put me on, on the track of really knowing well in advance how the pieces fit together, not only for me, but for students in the class. The space itself is a really important partner. We couldn't do this without the space. And when the students come in, they're like, what is this? It's, it's tables, it's a chance where students get interactive and they sit around the table and they're forced to talk to each other one-on-one. -on -one. It's, uh, it's a totally different setting and that setting is the cue that says, you know what, this is not your typical kind of class. This is not a class where you can sit back and wait to be entertained. This is a class where you're going to have to participate and actually learn the material. We have uh, tiered uh, seating and there's two rows on each tier. What that allows the, the students to do in the front part of the tier is to turn around their chairs and they're facing the groups as that. That is great because I have them working in, in groups of four and they're able to actually face each other and, and converse. Lily 1105 is a big lecture hall, a very deep lecture hall, and it's very difficult to communicate or know what the students in the back of the room are thinking. Uh, so in the Hicks space, we have tables that are groups of nine, and they also actually can be broken out into groups of three. And so we have very flexible ability to assign permanent groups and then to even switch around and make a jigsaw of the groups so that students can uh, work on teams during class. I think the outcomes are that they are actually more focused on what they're doing in the class. We have the known outcomes or the, the outcomes we've, we have sort of prescribed for the class. And if you look down that list, I think that on each one of those, they're just a little bit better that, than they have been in the past. My number one advice for people joining the IMPACT cohort would be focus. So start small, focus in on something that you can change that you believe will be make a measurable difference. So um, they talk about the Pareto principle, the 80-20 uh, principle, that uh, you can achieve a lot of effect with a very minimum amount of effort. So think what is the one or two things that you could change in your course that would have the biggest impact on student learning and student success and focus on doing that really, really well.